Hi friends, I'm Jeffy G. I've done a lot of videos, especially last year, on all the drum instruments that are built into Logic. I went into great detail around the sounds, the kits, the presets, and there's links to all of those videos in the description. But one thing I forgot to mention is where are all the patterns? You see, if you're not into programming drums, if you're not into using a pad device to create your own drum beats, maybe you wanna start with pre-configured patterns to build your song on those. And that's what I'll show you how to do in this video. You know, in all that effort to demonstrate all the different drum machines that come in Logic, one thing I didn't do is explain to people are there existing patterns available? And the answer is yes. So if you're not into programming drums, you could use existing patterns that are built into Logic. The other thing that happened was, I wasn't sure if Logic had like a Roland 606. So I'm just gonna create a track here. And in the electronic kits, I was looking for a Roland 606. So I scroll down, oh look, there is one. So I open up that kit. How do I create a pattern for that or use an existing pattern? Well, one way is to right click in the region area and create a pattern region. And in the step sequencer, you could create your own pattern or you can click on this button here and there are existing patterns. Drums, what's this? Let's hear it. Yeah, that does sound like a 606. So there's all kinds of patterns here. But finding them is a little bit confusing. So there's sort of two options. Well, just as a reminder, there are, I think over 200 or around 200 drum machine designer kits. So you can choose any of those kits. It doesn't have to be that 606. Under patterns here in the step sequencer, there's maybe 50 patterns. And there's non-drum patterns, melodic patterns, chords, bass. So that's, that's one option is to go into the step sequencer and examine the existing patterns. And there is another option, and that is to pull up the loop browser and filter what you see in the loop browser to just MIDI regions. You do that by clicking on this multicolored little icon here. It's kind of tough to see. Essentially, what you're just after are MIDI loops. Okay, And when you see MIDI loops here, you're going to see loops for all kinds of instruments, not just drums. So we want to limit what we see in the, as those MIDI examples to just drums. And if we drag one of those MIDI samples over into the arranger area, you'll see it's just, it's just a bunch of MIDI notes. So lots to choose from here. What is Beachside? Well, that one is a fill. How about this? That's pretty basic. Let's drag that over to our 606 drum machine. So there you go. You've got two ways to use existing patterns from within Logic. Oh, there's one other source that I forgot to mention is that you could download MIDI files off the internet. There's all kinds that you can get for free. I was looking through my browser here and I remember that I have a bunch of MIDI files uh, from GrooveMonkey. If you go to the GrooveMonkey website, you can download these things. They were free. So there was one under Blues Rock here. There's all kinds, but you could just drag those MIDI files into Logic. So I'm just going to put that again on my trusted 606 and see what it sounds like. Oh, it's just all kinds. Those are general MIDI. I think these ones are rock, jazz. What do we got under jazz? A swing beat. There's intro, outro, swing full. Let's see what that sounds like. Plug that in. Play it. So lots that you can get for free if you're not into programming drums. Lots of patterns that come with Logic. Pretty much any MIDI will work. One of the things you got to watch out for is that sometimes the MIDI assignments uh, of the drums don't line up perfectly. Like if you look down here in Logic, you'll see on the left it tells you what drum each one of these notes is assigned to. Sometimes it's not perfect. Uh, and you know, you'll find the hi-hat is assigned to the wrong thing 
or the rim shot isn't assigned to the right thing. In which case you can just uh, click on the name of the drum kit piece and um, it highlights all of the parts, all of the MIDI parts, and you could, you know, you could move that to a different drum if you wanted. You'd say, oh, well, this is supposed to be hi-hat. So you can, you know, alter and modify the MIDI as you see fit. I'm sure I don't have to tell you if you just go and Google free MIDI drum grooves or free MIDI loops, you're going to find GrooveMonkey shows up amongst other sources for free MIDI drums. Now, GrooveMonkey sells packs, but they have a lot of free stuff that you can download. Here's kind of a list, and uh, I've downloaded some of them. They're great. It's a great starting point, and you just click on free loops, and away you go. Another article I found on the internet was this one, which says, uh, here's seven sources for free MIDI loops. No purchase necessary. GrooveMonkey was top of the list. This Odd Grooves website shows up as well. And I've looked at Odd Grooves before. It's pretty good. They have packs for sale. And you can spend a bit of money if you want to buy a curated pack of MIDI grooves for drums. Or you can click on that free grooves loop, sign up, and they'll send you an email with a bunch. Prosonic Studios. 5-pin press, MIDI drum files, platinum loops, and the loop loft. All good sources. So there's lots to choose from out there. You can download them, try them out, drag them into Logic, and play around with them. You don't really have to program drums. Drums can be a big part of any composition. It may be where you start. It may be that you start with a melody and then add the drums. But regardless, it's important to know how to use drums, how to use patterns, how to use the step sequencer, and whether you can just drag and drop MIDI into its place to give you the beats that you're looking for. If you found this video useful, click on the like button. Send me a comment. Consider subscribing to the channel because that supports the channel and I appreciate your support. Thanks for watching.